Today I'm going to go over how to add a power switch to your Atomic Pi. I got kind of curious looking over the Atomic Pi and I happened to notice something that said power across it. I took a voltage measurement and I saw 3.3 volts. I thought this was pretty interesting. They were not shorted together, they were open. So I took my multimeter probe and I shorted across the two pins and lo, lo and behold, my Atomic Pi turned off. So I figured, okay, let's uh, add a power switch. Well, it needs to be a momentary button, not a power switch. So I rummaged around trying to find something that would work for this. And I found some momentary push buttons. I went ahead and soldered them in, as you can see, and it worked out pretty well. This power momentary button has two functions. One is long press and one is short press. For short press, it's pretty simple. If you look in your OS, you can see you have a setting for if your power button is pressed, whether it goes to sleep, hibernates, or shuts off. For this use case scenario in Windows 10, I have it set to go to sleep. If you long press, it flips a some kind of switch inside the Atomic Pi's motherboard, allowing power to come on or off. So if you long press it, it will either hard shut down or allow power to come back on. Turn it on by holding and pressing the power button until our little LED lights up. Simple as that. Our monitor will turn on. Just go through the boots. Okay, now that we are booted into Windows, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick press of the power button and let the Atomic Pi go to sleep. So now that the Atomic Pi is asleep, I'm going to go ahead and wake it up with the space bar. And it's awake. So if we were to hold the power button, it would do a hard shutdown. You can see our keyboard backlight went away, and it's as simple as turning it back on. 